Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this login page. And let me show you a quick demo of this project. So let's start and the password username is HMS and password is pass. After that you need to click on login and it's sent to this new form. And here you can see that this is a dashboard actually. And here this is the image I have set. You can set for the different hospital. Okay. And this is the add new patient. You can see this. And this is actually GIF, which is put into a picture box. I will show you how to make this. And here you need to fill all these records. And if you don't feel or something like it will show patient ID already exists or any field is empty or data is in wrong format, all the possible errors it shows. So you need to check this all. Okay. After that, uh, this is actually popped up you can resolve it very easily and add best uh, add diagnostic information here you can search for any particular ids like this okay so if uh, we don't enter a valid pid then it will remain empty like just remove it or invalid pid here you can add more record and uh, will patient required word or not after that these are the details which is in the database and this is hospital information so i will show step by step for every button click how to perform these steps now let's start with this login page okay for that uh, we need to right click on this and let's create a new project and using visual studio 2012 and MS SQL database new project Windows form application select Windows form application after that name whatever you want to but I'm going to write HMS video okay mm, I will say click OK <coughs> sorry We will just creating a new project and it will take a bit time okay here we are with this form one and you can make large as much as you want um, after that what I have shown you there is that this is a picture behind this login page so let me show you how to add this picture okay just right click on this and go to properties here it is and select for background image it's here you need to just click on this and local import import after that you need to sorry that's the wrong folder let me show where it is actually oh, here it is uh, select one picture whatever you want to select I'm selecting this one open and click on ok it actually decreases size oh, here we go now let's see it looks similar here oh this is the wrong one okay. it looks similar now and now uh, let's go for we have two text field okay um, I'll just drag and drop text field just copy and paste one more we need two and what we need is label just need to drag and drop we need two right so here it is and one button just drag and drop it okay so now it looks a bit similar here you can see this look similar what is label name username and password let's change it just right click on this properties text user name right after that it's password um, there are two types of 
filled with one is text field and one is design name let me show you this is design name if you change this then this will going to be used in this programming side okay so i'm going to change this text design name it's design name not this name here you can see that let me show you okay sorry that's for the label label name okay so let me change it to txt user name and it's let me change it to txt password keep the family name which can be easily be remembered as well and after that let me change the name of this button and this is the design name and we need to change the name search for text here you can change let me see what actually was there <coughs> let's log in um, now click for this and just go and change it to log enter and change the design name to btn login and let me show you how to code what we want whenever we click on this login button it goes to the next form okay it means go to the dashboard now I'm starting just this project to show you how actually it is accepting the text it's accepting the text in plain format let me change it to star star and star Search for cat type. Let me check password character is star and just need to save it and just secure it. Now, whatever we write in this password field, it will be in star form. So, here we go. Now, code for this login text login button actually. Just double click on this, we'll create and click event. And here we go, where you can write code whatever you want to. So for login, what we need is to store username and password into a variable. I'm creating a variable that is username of string type. And what we need to do is just copy whatever user enter in this field this variable for that we need to write the text field name that is design name that is text username and from that text what we need is text let's write it and so in the same way for password as well what we need is text right so <clears throat> here i'm going to show you how to actually hard code it login after that i will show you how to make this with the database connectivity that's not much difficult but actually i'm trying to teach you how actually program works how actually in the background it perform tasks uh, it will just then use a if condition if user name is equal to is equal to like i'm keeping same username and we want to check for both the username and password is equal to is equal to that is pass then what we need is let me show you dialog box and message box dot show you have the right username and password let me just show you I'm just checking it okay else the condition will be same short of 
fancy prop store show wrong user id or password Just save it and let's see what happened. I'm typing something wrong and just click on login. Wrong is the right password, it's working. And let me type HMS and password will be pass. Okay, so you have the right username and password. Now, how do we move from one form to another form when we enter this? So, for that, first we need to create one new form like. Uh, just right click on this your project and after that add mm. add to windows form click on this windows form and I'm just keeping it dash dsh it's dashboard okay and click on this and I want this to be of size like this. Put a label to show that it's actually working. I'm just putting it right here. Now let me show you how to move from this form to this form on login button flow. What we just need is just need to remove this. I am commenting this and just let me show you. <clears throat> First of all, what we want is that this form hidden when the form login when we click on this login button. For that, we just need to write is this dot hide. This is a method to hide the current panel on which we are clicking or con current form on which we are clicking. Clicking. Okay. So let me show you. This is HMS and pass. Whenever we verify this here, let me compare these two. First text field is HMS and second is pass. And here it is HMS and pass. If these matches, then this form will be hidden. Let me show what happened. This form is hidden. Now it's working perfectly. Now what we want to move from one form to another form. For that we need to create an object of the second form and second form name is um, dashboard.cs. Okay. So there we need to create dashboard dash. So go to new that is dashboard here we go and what we need to sh see is dashboard dot show and that's it here we go just remove the space we don't need it just click on this and here we need to write HMS and pass and click on this login here we move to the new dashboard and here we go and thanks for the today's lecture and thanks for watching and please like subscribe and share with your friend in the next lecture i will show you how to make this let me show you okay. sorry this is a wrong project mm. let me show you HMS and pass next lecture i will show you how to make this all these buttons these pictures okay so stay tuned and please like subscribe and share with your friends please do subscribe and I click on the bell button so that you can be updated with our videos and if you have any suggestions or any particular video you need any particular video or source code please do comment Please comment your email IDs. I will definitely share you. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share once again.